The project scope added a new cloister, vestibule, elevator, and hall to the existing church. The significant part is the foundation, the stone foundation on the existing church is actually a stone foundation wall. Of course, on the stuff of the new construction is a masonry facade on, uh, on a concrete reinforced uh, typical foundation. The big challenge was getting to the elevation to get deep enough to get through the existing foundation wall that hadn't been touched in 120 years. We hand dug uh, sections of uh, and poured uh, a buttress footing on each side of the wall as we went, which would give it stability um, from differential loading as we would have to excavate to, to create accessibility. To achieve two you know, foundations that are 120 years different in age and to have them not move differentially to each other is a, is a substantial um, accomplishment. So, so there you can see the existing church on the existing foundation and this is all on the new foundation. Where we took this to the next level was to maximize the space. We found a way to waterproof that wall so that that tangent pile wall, the shoring wall, actually is part of the foundation and it's integrated as part of the foundation of the, of the structure. It was getting the, the elevator installed to getting down to elevation to be able to access the columbarium. And this was a big thrust for the church um, so, that, so that all the people um, that, that, that wished to come and, and visit and, 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 and go to the columbarium had access to it. So right here, we're, we're actually looking at the existing foundation wall of the church. As soon as we go past this wall, we tie into the new foundation. And this is where we supported to lower, we, where we had to put the shoring to lower the, the, the footings to put in, to put in the, new, uh, the new columns that directly support the organ that was installed at the, at the turn of the 19th century. And we'll show you this organ that, couldn't, that we had to support while we did it. The organ had to stay throughout the construction. So we basically uh, carefully wrapped it to, uh, to ensure to keep all the dust out. So there was this, the old 70s virgin hall, which was completely dilapidated. It had tied in and there was a flashing and a bunch of tar and butyl that tied into the old church. So when they removed, they removed the, fla the flashing and any of the wood in the old hall, then they basically, um, a guy came that he could freeze it and we, we just basically hand, hand, uh, hand removed the, the old butyl and, and tar that was on the old masonry. And getting a shop drawing and getting a roof truss to marry in to, to a window like this, it's, it's challenging, however, in, in this day and age with, you know, computer-aided design and, 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 and all of the stuff we have to make components, um, it's certainly easier than trying to manage the 120-year-old construction. However, it's still, um, it takes a great deal of time and effort to do details like that. The thing I may add to it is, um, through the entire process of, uh, of construction, there, there was not a Sunday that, that church wasn't attended and there was not a, a funeral or a requirement of the church that, that um, was not achieved. So, so the full and ongoing operation of the church happened. It's been excellent to, uh, to be able to work with CCR. Uh, this has been a very challenging process for everybody trying to figure out how to incorporate a very old and historic building into uh, some very new and dynamic plans. Uh, it's been great for us in that uh, there was never in the course of the entire construction which took from demolition to, to completion about about a year and three quarters two years uh, we never had to cancel services or, or to close anything down um, they were very very helpful in, in being able to uh, to troubleshoot all the way through so it was, uh, it was really great to see it through from uh, from start to finish and as you can see uh, a very beautiful blend of a very bright and dynamic multi-use space coming from uh, from what was a pretty singular singular use uh, older dark dingy space so it's been uh, excellent to work with CCR